Yo, what's up guys? My name is Terry Stash and in today's video, I'll be showing you the whole design process of designing a flyer from point A to the last point, which is B, I guess. So I will be showing you everything that happens in between the research, the inspiration, the mood boards, the everything. I'll show you how to start and how to finish the whole process. This video is meant for the beginner, but if you are experienced and you feel like you can watch this, then I appreciate it. I will actually help you develop a structured routine on how you can at least find a way to design a flower from point A to point B if you don't have a idea or anything within Photoshop. So I'll actually help you through that whole starting phase and then we will design a flyer together and hopefully this helps you out. Well, the first thing that you are going to do when you get into Pinterest is look for inspiration or any kind of flyer that you want to to design or replicate something like that but for for this video's sake we are just going to scroll on pinterest and find something that we can actually redesign so in for this video i'm feeling this kind of look i really like this kind of look so we are going to design something similar to this yeah with small cars or like taxis something that's actually mixed with see something like this so we can try and replicate something like this so now that we know what kind of look we want to go for we are going to start by importing all our assets into the into photoshop and then yeah we are going to play around with it until we find the proper um flyer that you want actually or the position i mean okay now we have all the assets okay okay for this one we are going to blend this picture with a sky background because it can't be just empty like this so we we'll need to play around and see what we can do. So far we have this. Now we need to add a sky background. Okay, cool. So basically here, what you are doing is just putting multiple pictures together to make one thing. So in this picture, as you can see, the first one is going to be the main picture that appears on people like in the flyer is going to be this one you come here to the eye icon and click it it's off click it back on it appears again so now that we have to um blend these two images we are going to start by clicking the picture that is on top which you can see here and then we are going to make a duplicate of this control J and then we are going to hide the copy the next thing that we are going to do is now we are going to convert this into a smart object we do this by coming here to the copy click left go to convert smart object now you can do the, the proper stuff now by making a an image a smart object it allows you to come back and fix any errors that you you, you made or something like that yeah, yeah so now let's just select this whole taxi and the guy and all of that so we go to our tool here select everything uh -huh. select 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 you can also do the subject selection from the from the select um, panel i mean yeah so now that you selected everything we're just going to mask it and then go back to this okay um for this one we are not going to be needing the 
to, to blend because I'm thinking this is going to be too advanced for someone who actually doesn't understand Photoshop. So yeah, let's just put these pictures in the right position. So, okay, like so. As you can see, on this picture, we have white spaces here. What I normally do is I go to my eraser tool and I click on the, the mask layer and then I go in and then I reduce my brush. Control Z. You will actually have to reduce your brush until you find the proper size that is going to fit to that point that you want it to be in. So yeah, go in and then clean these edges. Control. You need to be as precise as you can be. There are different ways in which a person can do this, but this is the easiest way which I can show you right now. I'll definitely show you more ways on how to fix this issue, but for now, you will just have to, I guess, use the most convenient way for you to understand Photoshop and how to design a flyer for yourself. Okay, so, okay. Oh. This. Now that all the, the 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 white points are the white edges, I mean, are fairly removed, we will now have to start designing. Continue with our design, I mean. So, yeah, we will use this. We have this. Okay, now we will have to blend the the sky so it's a bit whitish or a bit of yeah, we just need to add something to it so that it doesn't seem out of place. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna add, we go to adjustment layers, add a solid color, and then yeah, choose this color, a bit of blue-ish. Click OK. Then you double click on this on the color you don't actually and then you're going to go to blend if this blend if you're going to go this to 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 this to this toggle you are going to press alt and drag what this does it allows you to 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 blend a solid color into a an image see like this yeah now it's a bit in place and not too dark so yeah press ok now that we fix this now the next thing that we need to do is is add another element keep this in place we add this we drag it in this is quite the simple one so what we we are trying to achieve here is we are trying to achieve a look where a taxi is waiting for people, but at the same time, it's in a environment that actually reflects that I might think a corner and there are actually people waiting for the cab. So selection now, panel again, let's just go to select subject. And then as soon as it's selected, we are going to, we are going to fix it. Go to the quick selection tool, choose subtract option. And then we are going to fix the edges, control Z. Then we choose the size. But we come back again. Now it's fine. And we go to the other side. Everything is sorted out. Now we can create our mask. Go back. Okay. This is too big. Let's reduce the size. Makes sense. Okay. Now that everything is in place, we need to, we are almost there, we are, we are getting to the final destination. So now what we need to do is just get a little bit of shadows and the realistic touch to 
the, the, the flyer because it's just too blunt for my liking. Like there's no color enough, even though there, there is actually color, but it's not what I would do. So here you would simply add a layer behind the, the image that is on top that's appearing like this one, the taxi one. And then you add a layer. Come here, add a layer. You go to your brush. What you are basically doing right now is just adding realistic shadows so it doesn't seem as if um, it's just copy and paste on top of pictures. Okay, let's go for the easy route. Okay, let's grab this out. Go to, to the picture on top, create a smart object, go to FX, click drop shadow. Okay, now it's gonna give you a shadow. That's the difference between adding custom shadow and using drop shadow. Drop shadow just uses shadow for the whole image. So if you need something that is very direct, to what you want specifically or want to add shadow in specific places you actually go to there are multiple ways in which you can do it which you can do it here you can add a layer or a solid color i just don't know which one to use for you guys but let's just add a solid color i'm going to use black ish a shade of black okay cool and then you click on the mask you press ctrl and i what you are basically doing here is you are inverting the the layer so you are going to use the brush tool to brush out certain parts of the the mask that you need and certain uh parts of the solid color will appear instead of the whole thing appearing let me show you what i mean so now that you have clicked on that you go to your brush, you adjust your, your brush size, you adjust your flow, the smoothing, yeah, until the shadow seems realistic enough. You just don't want to add shadow like nobody's business. Okay, so now we want to reflect the sun, right? So most of the time, when the sun hits, it will hit from behind so it's hitting from behind and everyone is looking forward so now you add some light reflection to to this flyer and then when someone is hit by light obviously it's going to be from the back so you need to reflect that and show it in the image so what you're going to do is just make sure that the shadow is is realistic enough because if your shadow, if the sun is hitting you from the back, your shadow will be in the front or on the side somehow. Yeah, so you need to show that. So that's what we're going to do. So in this layer, we are just going to add a bit of shadow. It's, it, it's not as professional because I want to keep it as short and as, you know, man, as, as, as direct as I can. So I don't bother you guys by just talking too much.